Hello, my friends. Happy Halloween. I'm off to the spooky skeleton masquerade ball. And you can see I'm all dressed up with my headband, with my skeletons on it. And I have my little necklace with my skeletons on it. And we're gonna have a very good time in the masquerade. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the cutest treat bags for all your little homemade Halloween goodies. And I'm also gonna show you behind the scenes how I made everything for my Wicked Wonderland. How did I make the ghoulish flowers with teeth and eyeballs? How did I make the little cake? How did I make Alice? I'm gonna show you it all today. It's going to be a reveal, so to say. So we're going to take off our mask, and we're going to take a look at how I made these things. I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 73 this month, and I just say because if I can do it, I know you can do it too at any age. I have confidence in you. I want to thank all my wonderful, wonderful dear friends, all my great subscribers, all the people that watch my videos, that take the time to do that and then comment and just are so sweet and kind to me. It really, really touches my heart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. We're coming up into Christmas pretty soon after Thanksgiving and you don't want to miss all these videos. I got so many good ideas for Thanksgiving next month too. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Okay, so we're going to take little lunch bags, you know, from Dollar Tree. You get 40 for a dollar twenty-five. I'm going to show you how to make them into the cutest treat bags using your scraps, okay? Scrap paper. And I'm going to show you all the ghoulish things from my Wicked Wonderland decor this month. I can't wait to show you because some of you might want to do, you know, a uh, Alice in Wonderland fairy garden or something like that and make it a little bit creepy and you might want to make those or maybe for Halloween this year or next year. Anyway, I can't wait to show you everything. This is kind of a, again, a trash to treasure in a way because, you know, it's always on a budget with me. I'm just very on the cheap side, I'll say. Anyway, I hope you love this. I hope you get so inspired most of all and I'm going to see you as what? I don't Oh, yet in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my next craft video and it's all about making some adorable um, treat bags for pennies and also kind of the behind the scenes on how I made some of my things for Wicked Wonderland. And again, you can use these in a not wicked way at all. You can make them very cute and adorable. They're, this is a, such a cute theme and there's so many themes within Wonderland. You could do just a plain white rabbit theme. You could do one just about Alice, one about Mad Hatter, one about the Cheshire Cat, um, drink me, eat me containers. I mean, there's so many things you can do. So I want to start with my rabbit first because this was my chocolate rabbit. You saw our bunny from my Easter displays. And all I did is I kept his basket brown, but I just put a very light coat of paint on him. And I didn't go all around the eyes and it makes him look quite mad, I think. So you would have a more friendly bunny, I'm sure, but he could be a whole story about him and you know his his poison uh, toadstools that he, that he makes and how he makes his tea and crumpets and cakes and pies and all that good stuff. So that's a theme in itself. But anyway, I painted him and of course put a black and white check on because black and white check is always associated with Wonderland. And again, I made this adorable little runner. This was on my table I did at the fair. Also, some of the other icons are of course playing cards. And of course I had some really big ones. You also want to include some pictures of Alice and the Mad Hatter. And of course, it depends what stage of their life you want to portray. But I want to tell you the easiest way to do this stuff. You buy movie posters. So both of these figures, my Cheshire Cat, my two queens, um, Tweedledee, Dumb and Tweedledee, this Alice figure all came from posters. It's Tim Burton's, I believe, 2008 um, Wonderland movie. I'm pretty sure that's it. And you can get them on... Um, 
uh, eBay for, I don't know, about $9 or something. Anyway, if you do a lot of displays and stuff with uh, Wonderland, I would get one of those. You could use it as a backdrop. You don't even have to cut the figures out. But what I did for Alice is I cut her figure out, and you have to be very careful. <laughs> but what I did, and I just want to show you the back of her here. So what I did with Alice is I cut her out initially, then I glued her on heavy black paper and cut her out. I kind of had some little mistakes with her hands, but it really doesn't show. And then to reinforce her and make sure she stands up, I put popsicle sticks and just more paper reinforcing her. Now this is on a little wooden uh, slice of wood that I painted black and put moss on. There's an L bracket underneath there. So the L bracket is uh, screwed to the piece of wood and then it's hot glued to this her figure. And then I did more pieces of you know heavy duty black paper over it, hot glued, hot glued, to where you know, you can see she's really, really sturdy. And um, I'm gonna keep her like that for many years, I think. So, so the other thing I wanna show you, and I, I showed you very briefly, was my cake. I put a piece of paper on the plate, small enough where you wouldn't see it, but I glued the red roses to the paper. So, and if any glue got on the cake, I'll just rip it off. But anyway, so that is separate. And then this is a separate piece. Do you see now how this works? And this I made with some cardboard, flowers, leaves, little these little moldy looking branches, skulls. And you can see I also have little tiny mushrooms glued on, some moss. And then I stuck in one of these eat me signs, which I made on my computer. I just typed it in. And I had this little piece of very fancy black scroll work and I thought, ah, that would be perfect for it. So again, you can make these little toppers. I've made one for fall, this is for Halloween, you can make them for spring, you can put bunnies and chicks on them. Again, show you my napkin rings I made, piece of cardboard um, uh, from a paper towel roll, covered it in black velvet, put a red rose, and then I got these little um, skeleton hands from Dollar Tree and these little glass bottles from Dollar Tree. I shoved some tool in there and I did a little drink me sign, which is classic Alice in Wonderland. And you can see, I've also put them, you can see here, here's what it looked like on their drinks. I had everybody's drink with a drink me little sign. And again, this is just, I just typed it on the computer, look through your different fonts and see what you like. And then I have this little punch that looks like a little tag. And if you are doing a witch theme, you can always do a witch hat with a band and a little buckle. And because I have the same girls coming every year, I just put their names right on the little witch hat. So, and um, one last thing from Alice in Wonderland I wanna show you. So, I think I've showed you this many times because this was on my Christmas in Wonderland table. I took a piece of cardboard and I took some brown paper and just wound it around and glued it on. I have black paper in the back and this is down the rabbit hole. In fact, for my party, I even made a sign that said down the rabbit hole. But look how cute. Can you imagine if you do fairy villages or um, Alice in Wonderland village? I would just have this rabbit hole there. It doesn't even have to be Alice in Wonderland. You can make your fairies go to other lands and worlds and the whole thing. I have a mushroom, a teapot, a key. And you just put some moss and ferns around there and make it swirled like you're falling down the hole. And then just paint everything brown and black. And you can see how cute. Now I had this hanging at the back of my table at the fair with instructions to go down the rabbit hole. But anyway. So much fun. You guys, Wonderland gives you so many different themes you can go with. You can go with an Alice theme, a White Rabbit theme, a uh, Drink Me, Eat Me theme. You could go with uh, a Mad Hatter theme. So now I want to show you how I made my ghoulish flowers. I think I kind of showed you a little before, but I want to just give you another idea. These are Dollar Tree eyeballs. I paint them black. See how I did, made them black around the back? It just looks better. It makes the eyeball stand out more. And I hot glued a couple leaves, a couple leaves, a couple petals around the eye first. Just rip apart your old flowers that you have. 
And you can see here, I use some of that twine wrapped wire and went around and around and painted it black and had it come out the back and then I glued another leaf on top. You can put more, more petals on there, but now you can bend it as a flower to go this way. You can bend it to go up. It is absolutely so cool. And then my little biting flowers. Um, now I've done them where you use the teeth from um, uh, white plastic forks, you can break them off. I don't know, I almost cut myself on that. So um, I'm using white foam here. I just cut out some teeth and hot glued them in. A little egg carton. Can you see the little, the one little piece where an egg would go in and I cut it into four pieces, you can see here. Then I just glued um, all kinds of petals around it. And there, in the back, let me see if I can show, right there, there is that circled, um, wired, uh, twine covered wire that I put in a circle and then I just put it down and you can see now I can now I can stick it in an arrangement and I just think it looks so cute so have fun with this stuff don't throw your old flowers away now last minute treat bags I just want to show you what you can do here so what you're first going to do is get yourself some brown paper bags they sell I think 44 a dollar 25 at Dollar Tree and you're going to fold the top over. Put your goodies in and then you're going to fold the top over. Then you're going to take some scrapbook paper about this size cuz you want it as wide as your bag and you want it enough to go over the flap so that you can decorate it. So you're going to put it over the little the top of the bag. Okay, so I just put it over the top of the bag. Then you're gonna punch your holes and then take some coordinating ribbon and just put your, um, your ribbon through there and tie it in a bow. And this is what you have. You can see how cute these are. Now these are flat, I don't have anything in them right now. Put popcorn balls, cookies, you could probably even put a candle, although I might go into the these other type of bags that are a little bit sturdier. Remember, make some of these spooky uh, paper clusters and look what you can do with them. You just stick them right on a bag with a matching tag and it looks so cute. Here's another one here. So I wanna show you on here. So this is just a piece I had, but this is a, a flattened cupcake liner with a moon and a bat. This one here is two cupcake liners. These are the little tiny cupcake liners, I think for candy. These are for cupcakes, and I just put one piece of embellishment, some jewels, creepy cloth, and look how adorable that bag is. Again, for a special neighbor, special kids, some relatives, um, if you're going to a party or having a party, what an adorable little uh, treat bag to take home. Here's another one with the little pinwheel. Uh, and they've got a bigger one underneath and then I put little tails on it and then tied it with the same ribbon and some eyelash yarn and one of these bats from Walmart and you've got just adorable things. You could use up all your uh, Halloween scrap paper. So adorable. So I hope you love this. I hope no matter what type of Wonderland theme you do for a holiday or a birthday or just because, um, I've given you some ideas. I especially love that rabbit hole. That works for anything. And again, if you've made some of those last minute treats, put them in some real cute bags and you have a beautiful gift. I want to wish you guys all a very happy Halloween. I hope you love this. I hope you got so inspired. And you know, I got to run off to the skeleton ball now. I've got to put my mask back on. And you know, I'm going to see you in the next video as what? I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Bye.